I hope you are well. I suppose you'd be a little surprised to hear from me after these many years. But I want you to know that I've thought of you often. Things have gone well for me here, but I still miss home. Blooms like a flower in my memory. I wish I hadn't had to go so suddenly when I did, but that's just how it was. Maybe that hurt too. I could never tell how you felt about things. But do you remember the time we stayed up until morning? We talked a lot that night, and you never mentioned any of it again. So I thought it best to be going on my own. And I thought you must have known why. You always said you could never leave because of the wind that blows in off the Atlantic. The wind is always against us, you said. Unforgiving, you called it. As if the wind cares who goes anywhere, I said. But maybe you were right. I always supposed you weren't long finding another girl. You were such a handsome man, if I may say so. Only, I met a fella from home lately, and he said he thought you were on your own on the farm. I don't like to think about that. So, as I said, things have worked out well for me. I have my own business, would you credit it? You see, the wind can blow both ways. Anyway, I was thinking, it would be so good to see you again. So I made up my mind to send you a ticket for the steamboat. There'd be no hurry paying me back, and jobs are plentiful here. Oh, Matt, all those years might be a long time in the world, but they're a short time in the heart. And God forgive me, but there's a young man here who'd love to meet you. He's so like you. Come to us, Matt. Yours truly, Molly.